One Piece episodes 677 and 678. So we left off with Sugar passing out. This means that all the toys ought to turn back into people and everyone ought to remember everyone else. So we start with Robin and we get to see every inch of her turn back to normal, oh my god! All the Coliseum guys are turning back, all the Tauntauna guys are turning back, and of course in town all of the toys there are turning back. And so um, the Navy is like, oh, we were missing out on something here, or <laughs> something weird is going on in this country that we didn't know about. Treble calls up Do Flamingo and is like, um, oops! <laughs> Do Flamingo is not happy. And then you look over at the Coliseum and it's just, it's chaos because all of the toys are turning back and like no one knows how to deal with this because they're getting all this new information as well. And of course all the guards around the city are, are calling up Do Flamingo like, what do we do? How do we fix this? Oh, Do Flamingo's face is so contorted with rage. All the Tantana and Robin are like, Usopp, no, stay with us. He's being needless too dramatic. Oh, to be, he, he did get beaten up too. Oh, he's able to maintain his, you know, I planned it all along exactly how I wanted it to go. Okay, so a bunch of giant animals were also turned into toys and used as laborers. So now there are giant animals stampeding through the streets. <laughs> so that's a problem. And the people who just turned back into humans after being toys are going after all the guards who like whipped them and bossed them around while they were toys. Which is what we wanted. We wanted them to, to help us fight against Doflamingo. The people get to the palace and they're throwing torches at it. <laughs> Oh, Dofley goes so pissed! <laughs> Law is sitting there and he's watching all this happen. I mean, this wasn't part of any of his plans at all, but he's got to be feeling pretty good about it. Just just for the fact that Doflamingo is so angry. Oh, and now we're getting the toy soldier turning back into himself, back into Kiros. And um, also, like, Rebecca and the king and um, Viola are like, oh my god. I remember that guy. And he stands up, but he still only has one leg. That's a bummer. He leaps into Doflamingo's room to get his revenge. Go, Kiros, go! And Viola explains this to Luffy as she's like, I can't believe I forgot him. Oh, he goes right for Doflamingo. <laughs> he cuts his head off. <laughs> oh, he cut Doflamingo's head off. Okay. <laughs> I mean, clearly Doflamingo can't possibly be dead, even though he got his head cut off, so, <laughs> so that's why it's funny. Anyway, let's watch episode 678. Luffy and Viola jump into the room, too, to go and rescue Law. Back at the Coliseum, Rebecca is, of course, in tears. All of her memories are changing, and she's realizing that she had... that she had a dad this entire time. Okay, so Sabo's like, that's nice. That's nice that you had a dad and all that, but... Let's get back to doing this thing, and he, he activates some hockey and he punches into the ring because he's still after that fruit. He basically, he destroys the entire ring. So the crowd is terrified. Not only are they all in chaos over what happened, like with all the toys, but now <laughs> Sabo's destroyed a part of the Coliseum, so they all start rushing out. And Sabo locates the fish with the fruit on its back, and he chases after it on top of another fish. And Diamante can't do anything to stop him because he fell in the water. Oh, Sabo got the fruit! Oh, Ace's fruit! Sabo declares himself the winner because the ring is just this tiny little platform and everyone else is out of the ring, so he technically wins. And then he eats it! Aww! This is going well. Then he, he takes the beard off, he takes the helmet off, he takes the sunglasses off, and he jumps up in the air and he says, How's Rebecca? Is he gonna do a fire attack? Ah! Oh, and then he does the fire fist attack. Oh, <laughs> he is quite a natural at this um, this gel fruit thing. But we haven't gotten to see his face yet. Like they haven't shown Sabo's face in the show yet. Sabo punches down through the Colosseum. So I guess all the water is gonna fall down into the factory, right? This is where the Tantata are rescuing Usopp, and now Robin has to fight off Treble. 
Then a giant comes along and grabs onto Usopp. And he appeals to all the people standing around. He's like, look how hard they fought to rescue us. Oh, and the, the giant holds him up and is like, look, this is the man who saved us. His name is Captain Usopp. And the ceiling's cracking and that water's gonna be coming down any minute now. And Usopp's in a lot of pain. He's like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> and then the ceiling breaks. And water doesn't come down, but like light shines down. And it makes Usopp look so heavenly <laughs> and majestic. Everyone's hanging on his every word. They're hoping he's gonna say something. So he's trying to like tell them like, leave me alone, I'm very injured. But he he can barely speak. So it kind of just comes out say, sounding like he's saying, oh, I follow me, my people. <laughs> so everyone's like, wow. <laughs> So Usopp has been elevated to the love of God. It's Usopp is Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I always knew that, but why didn't anyone else? So Usopp says, okay, fine. <laughs> if this is how it's gonna be, might as well use it. How about you destroy that factory? <laughs> okay, so that's the end of those two episodes. <laughs> I mean, the first episode was kind of annoying, because you know, mo most of it was just like, and then everyone turned back to normal. Blah. But, I mean, the end part of it was pretty good and pretty emotional and nice. And then the, the second episode was, was just pure insanity. Oh, so good. Anyway, I'll see you next time for episodes 679 and um, 680. Bye.